In this episode of How to Tableau, we're going to show you how to create a waterfall chart. It's just one measure in one dimension in this video. Uh, we're going to have another one where it gets a little more complicated, but this one's going to be straightforward just so you can see the steps. There's seven steps in total, uh, and they're, we've, we've really broken out all the details. A bunch of them are actually optional. Uh, that said, let's just hop right in. I've got like 20 minutes, so let's see if we can't just like, I want to get through all this in one take. Not going to mess it up one bit. Um, I just want to start with a profitability, a, a, a waterfall, right? We've seen them before, and yeah, that's why you're watching the video. There are really, if we're looking at it, there's only four pieces of information we need to understand about the profitability chart to make this chart. The first one is the starting point, the bottom part of the bar, the starting point. Uh, we just got to know where that is. It's wherever it is, we got to figure that out. Second piece is the height of the bar. So once we know the start and the height of the bar, then we can create the bars and we know the start point and the next point. Uh, optional third part is the color if it was going uh, if pro, uh, if the value is up or down then it's going to be one color or the other and then the last is especially on this visualization is do you want the lines to connect them together you don't need it is optional part four uh, but those are the far, four parts you need in order to make um, a, a waterfall chart so I think I think what we should do is just hop into Tableau and I'm going to show you the, the first way, which is we're just going to take a measure, any given measure and a dimension and build that out. We're going to use profit because it's going to have positive and negative numbers. So I'm just going to drag that out onto my view and you'll see right away we've got just a bar of profit. Um, let's use in this data, I think we could use like subcategory. Hopefully I've got some positive and negatives. Perfect. You'll see uh, just looking at this bar chart. We've got some negative values, bookcases, supplies, tables. They're all negative. Let me let me just pop the size here on the screen, format my workbook, and make the fonts just a little bit bigger. So let's go like size 15. Now you should be able to see it a little bit better. Um, and maybe an uh, entire view it as always. You can't see all the labels. That's fine. Uh, just know that we have these different groups within our data. All right, to make a waterfall chart, we actually, the big thing you need to know is that you're going to want to use a Gantt bar to start with. And that is the first step along the way is make sure that you've got Gantt bar selected. And then from there, uh, what we need to do is we actually need to get these values uh, underneath that bar showing too. Uh, we know the profit is actually going to end up on size over here so we put on size the bars don't match up that's fine that's because we what we need is we need this first bar to start at zero and we need the second bar to start where this 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 first bar ends and the way we can do that is well first of all let's do get this uh rolling and we're just going to do a quick table calculation and we're going to get ourselves a running total it's looking a lot better uh it doesn't really fit exactly yet with what we're talking about because again those bars don't match how we want them however if we just change this profit to negative you'll notice uh, I just I'll do that a little bit in slow motion here redo it I'm going to edit live right on my view here profit double click and change this to a negative value and when I do that again it changes our bars and that's all you need to do to make a waterfall chart from here we just got to know if the value is positive or negative so I can just again I'm just gonna create a new calculation I'm gonna say with this new calculation if sum of profit is greater than zero then let's say it's up else we'll just say it's down and I'll just call this color and I'll hit OK and we just drag color right on the color and it shows whether they're up and down and maybe if it's going down you want it to be red and if it's up it's gonna be this gray color and if I hit OK we're done that's it you would think that's it but we need to get that last little bar here for the total 
So how do we get the total to show up? Well, we just go to analysis, totals, and let's show our row totals. And when we do that, boom, that's it. We've just done this chart. We've created a waterfall chart and that's the easy way to do it. Now that optional piece that we just talked about is getting those bars to show up above and below the lines themselves. And to do that, you can create a reference line. Just go right click on the axis and add the first reference line. We are just going to use uh, that running sum of total per cell. And I'm going to get rid of this recalculation and I'm going to get rid of my labels. I just, I'm not a big fan of the labels or the two tool tips in this situation. And when I hit OK, you'll notice we've got bars on the tops or actually the ends because if, if the values go down, uh, they're on the bottoms of the bars. But we want to also get them on the top. And to do that, we need another calculation, which I'm just going to double click on this profit calculation and copy it. Doing a lot of inline calculations here. Then I'm going to create a new calculated field and we'll just say look up. So look up is literally looking back up or left or right. However, so we're going to look back. Uh, negative one means looking back one value. And if I hit apply, we'll see that those bars show up for everyone but the first one. And to fix that, we just need to wrap that in a zero null function. And if I hit apply, Boom, we've got bars on every step along the way. And I guess all we'd have to do is add some labels in here, which is just profit, right? So profit on labels. And there you have it. We did it. Waterfall chart with bars, four steps, one take. So that's it for this episode. Uh, it's waterfall charts, seven steps, a bunch of more optional main steps along the way. Find your starting point. Uh, then build that your bars and I use negative values to do that and then obviously you want to color those and from there it's just kind of formatting the, uh, the lines whether you want them or not but that's it waterfall chart in seven steps if you enjoyed this video be sure to like it it does help our search on YouTube so be sure to like it if you have an idea for a video add it in the comments down below we'll definitely make that video as long as it's under like 20 minutes uh, other than that, thank you very much. We appreciate you watching this video and stay tuned for future videos in Tableau, Alteryx and Power BI. It's all coming soon. And that's it. That's our video.